Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Good afternoon. Today I'm with uh, Corné and then uh, one of my last vlogs I told you that we didn't get Astro Dark anymore in the Netherlands. So uh, <laughs> we drove seven hours for Astro Dark. We are now in the Schwarzwald or Black Forest region of Germany and we're looking, we're scouting for some good Milky Way spots. Let's check it out. Yeah, so this spot is uh, beautiful, but um, yeah, we hoped to combine uh, this location with some other locations up the hill. But I think we are too lazy <laughs> <laughs> to walk half an hour uphill. No, we are not too lazy, but we only have about one hour of astro darkness. So I don't think we can combine it. So we might come back here tonight, but uh, let's first go to another spot where we have more locations within five, 10 minutes walk. <laughs> We are now at uh, location number two. It's the, uh, how is it called? The Lotervat, number two. We are now at a um, yeah, sort of wooden path. It's uh, zigzagging uh, all around, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, we uh, also found a uh, path with some nice views. So let's see what we can find composition-wise here. So I think this composition will work pretty well. We have a uh, path as a leading line to where Kune is walking now. And uh, yeah, the Milky Way will uh, rise exactly above the path. So it looks like the path runs into the Milky Way at around half past one. So yeah, this might be pretty good. After finding several good compositions here, we decide to hike a bit further down the road to the so-called Panorama Path. We are now at uh, the location we hoped, looking at Google Maps, would be our tracker position spot. <laughs> we uh, want to also make some uh, tracked sky exposures, but uh, yeah, those trees there, <laughs> they weren't there on Google Maps and that's about the south, so... Uh, now we're gonna buy an X. Yeah, now we're gonna buy an X. <laughs> yeah, we'll see uh, if there's another spot uh, a little bit further down the road. After finding even more potential compositions, we found a good place to do tracked sky exposures. So we found a selfie stone. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the, the best place we're going to find for some tracked sky shots tonight. We have a beautiful view on the south. There's a little bit of mountains on your left. <laughs> there the Milky Way will rise and it will pass behind me in that way. So I think it's pretty good. And they were also pretty close to some other interesting foregrounds we found. So we might get back here. And in the meantime, it's about 30 degrees, so <laughs> I'm sweating like an otter. <laughs> so you're confident about tonight? I think so, yes. I think so, yes. Yeah. Little clouds, but uh, they're supposed to move. Uh, they're all gone. Over there, it's clear, yep. clear already. Very nice. And all these small clouds are going to disappear. Yep, I think so too. Man, you found some good comps? This is a good, this is, a, this is the best comp, but unfortunately it's not the right, uh, right, it's right side. It's to the east. <laughs> it's to the east, so that sucks, but uh, I think I found some uh, yeah. good comps. Not a pretty epic comp yet. Yeah, same for me. But it's good enough. Still pretty nice ones with some paths leading yeah. through the forest, the wooden path. And a lot of bugs. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Back at the hotel we made a plan for the night. However, we had no idea yet about the challenge that lied ahead. As usual. Good evening. We are now back at the uh, wooden path. Uh, yeah, we have a bit of a challenge here. Uh, well, the positive thing is uh, it, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty clear. We had some clouds this uh, afternoon, but uh, yeah, we can see a lot of stars. The challenge though is, um, yeah, we have a lot of wind. So 
we were thinking to shoot our foregrounds here uh, on the path during blue hour uh, and combine them with a tracked sky. Um, yeah, I'm also trying uh, to do some single shots later on the uh, panorama path. But uh, yeah, we'll just start shooting and we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, Corné is already doing his shots and uh, after that I will go and um, we'll walk further and hopefully we'll have a beautiful night. This is where we started to realize that the wind would be a problem. So Corné just did some test shots uh, to see how bad the moving trees were. How do they look? Pretty bad. <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're moving big time, so it doesn't really good uh, look good. So, so no blue hour blends, at least not no, from the beginning maybe, of the evening. We need, we need to wait uh, for the wind to uh, get yeah. a bit less. Uh, and then hope we can do it, because yeah, it's wind, pretty windy. Yeah, they, did, they didn't bizarre. predict it, but... Now we even uh, had some trouble deciding uh, if we were going to shoot at the lake uh, uh, where we were earlier at the hotel to do some reflection, but yeah, I'm glad we chose this one. But uh, yeah, well, we'll abandon this ID maybe later this evening. We'll go uh, to the panorama path a bit further and see how it goes. See you Just saying, he's already seeing the Milky Way. So yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah. What is it? The sun is uh, not even 15 degrees below the horizon, so that uh, should be a good night. In, in one hour and 45 minutes, it's extra dark, and we can now already see the Milky Way. And yeah, one hour 45 minutes. <laughs> Great. Pointing my move, shoot, move laser through the scope just to double check if I'm aligned at Polaris. And I am. So now uh, shooting my 50 millimeter foregrounds just before it's astro dark. So I'm looking for a composition just looking to the distant mountains and uh, yeah, into the valley basically. So uh, nothing uh, mega original or something, but it looks nice. So I'm uh, elevated at this stone. <laughs> yeah, just to get some, yeah, a little bit more, hopefully leading lines into the valley. So it's a brilliant sight. We have uh, three trekkers on the road there on the path. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, still half an hour or something, 40 minutes uh, before uh, Astro Darkness kicks in. But yeah, the shots we are getting are already so detailed. We are now uh, <laughs> starting at 50 mil. And uh, yeah, we see so many compositions already. I don't think we have enough time, which is a good thing. <laughs> After my 50 millimeter stack was done, I decided to try my luck with some single exposures while waiting for the Milky Way to rise a bit higher. I'm looking at a, a pretty good composition here. There's a path leading uh, yeah, through the pine trees, uh, which I think uh, are typical for the, uh, for the black forest. But there's one problem. The wind is uh, yeah, still pretty strong. So yeah, the treetops are all moving. Um, I attempted to make a single shot here, but uh, yeah, there are clouds in front of the Milky Way now. So I will um, yeah, try to blend a tracked shot here. Uh, but I hope, yeah, because of the moving branches that it will work so uh, fingers crossed okay so that didn't work i decided to go back to the tracker and focus on getting as much sky data as darkness allowed So we have been shooting for about 45 minutes now. I'm uh, yeah, shooting with my phone camera. Hopefully you can hear me because my ca other camera is uh, running a time lapse, short time lapse. Um, yeah, I've attempted to uh, make uh, a couple of single shots along this uh, panorama road uh, and I failed. <laughs> so I've come back <laughs> and I'm uh, yeah, doing my uh, second stack now on 24 millimeters. 
Kune is uh, also running some stacks. How many do you have? Um, I think I'm one hour. What time is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm a one hour busy right now. I've got um, two 50 millimeter stacks, one at my normal camera and one at my modified camera. I have a 135 stack. I have a 28 stack. I have a 35 stack. I'm running a 70 millimeter stack right now and I'm running a 20 millimeter stack. So I think that makes six or something. And there's 14 millimeter to go and then I think I'm done. Yeah, so Kone will probably have 10 shots and I will have two or three. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I'm really happy. Um, yeah, the skies here are so extremely dark. We uh, yeah went on some uh, better than expected. Yeah, and our in small investigation uh, has been a success, I think. Small investigation. Yeah, we wanted to check how black the black forest was, and it's pretty black. <laughs> <laughs> After we were done trekking, we tried to shoot the foregrounds we had found earlier today. Oh man, I'm now frantically running around looking for foregrounds. I really want this, uh, yeah, this panorama path leading into the Milky Way. Yeah, all the composition I found uh, earlier uh, this afternoon don't really work because it's blowing so hard the wind. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I have some good stacks, but I'm not sure about the foregrounds yet. Time for plan B. Quickly find compositions with as less moving trees as possible. Twilight was quickly approaching, so I had to hurry up and didn't have time to film anymore. Here is what we found. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.